Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and this is the new Situation Battle of the Week. It's called Extra Situation, as you saw, and it pits two Xeon teams against each other. I'm in the team Zagak E. We also have the all new High Hi Gog, which you will see Escort Resign in. Good to see him again. And we've got Seraphic Zero in one of the Zaku Kais, and Phantom of Japan in one of the others. It's. You know, we got a nice big group together this week. It was nice, and I have forgotten the Zagaki swing range entirely, so I am not doing great with it, but I do okay. It has a pretty good tackle, too, and that helps. Even if I hadn't been interrupted, that downswing would not have connected, so... I'd forgotten that its beam guns are relatively strong. But, of course, the Vice Claw is stronger. That is just luck. I wish I could say I did that on purpose because that was so cool. That backdash that just evaded the tackle. I wish I could have done something that neat on purpose. But, nope. Just me. Just me being accidental. But, there go my legs. And you're going to see me doing a lot of bailing out in this because pretty much you can predict when you're about to die. And you can... You can sort of bail out in time if you're paying enough attention. And I just missed getting run over by a tank, but then it shot me. Nice job, Shinji. Yes, we've got Shinji on the other team. And all sorts of folks from uh, from the old days. It is nice to have everybody back together for this week. And we had a lot of fun. I mean, we did get frustrated because it seems like they want to give this one priority since it's the new thing. So every time we remade a room... Every time we wound up with this map. So after like three tries, we decided to just keep a room until we could get some other rounds going. Nothing really spectacular. I'm pretty sure I've actually done videos of both the other round types before. One is the one where you have uh, an Afrit Schneid on one side and a Jim Striker and a Gun Cannon 2 on the other. And the other is the uh, Jetstream Attack Triple Dom uh, stage, which is nothing special. But I did okay-ish on it, so, and there were some interesting tactics going on, so I might post that eventually. And just by accident, instead of taking out my legs while I was down, they took out my uh, camera, which is survivable. Managed to kill the other Zagak E, but I'm about to go. But I foresaw it, and I'm on foot again. Bazooka shot went super wide. And you have to boost straight up to get up that hill. You cannot just boost and dash across it, at least not with the amount of runway I had. So, Bazooka's ready. I'm going to scoot over towards the enemy and see if I can get a, a shot off before they kill me. Nope. They were going to jump and I didn't realize it. So, And here's another thing I discovered, which I didn't know about tooling around in pilot, uh, on foot as a pilot, there's a ceiling to how far you can boost vertically. That walkway is above it. You cannot actually boost up to that walkway. See? I'm stuck. And more, no amount of vertical boosting does anything. So I fired my shot at the Zaku and drifted merrily to the earth. Actually, no, I just dashed down so I could get in, so I could get to a mobile suit or a tank or a something. Because at the moment, I'm not doing any good at all. So I'm off to that tank. And I'm in a good mobile suit. The Zagaki is fairly powerful, but I actually enjoyed the tank more. It's a Type 61 tank, so it has the same weapon loadout. It has the same two main weapons as the gun tank. It has the uh, it has the spread shot and the main cannon. And I'm dead. And there's Guang Star. Nice shot. And yeah, it's it's a it's a fun round. Again, you're just probably going to see too much of it if people haven't been hosting rooms for that long, or if they remake like we did to you know change configurations because it just keeps coming up. We actually had a couple of people take the disconnect hit 
to try and get something else and it didn't take so I think at the very end we did manage to get a round that w a first round on a uh, that was not a uh, extra situation but it took forever okay I should not have done that what I should have done since he just used up his tackle was use my dash to position myself better to follow up with more claws. I did not do this. I should have. And now I'm being attacked. I don't know if I'll actually manage to kill him. Did I get him? Almost, but not quite. And now I'm on the ground and about to die. And I'm out again. Now, if I'm a good shot with the bazooka, which I'm not necessarily, as you can see, there were a couple of people I had a chance to kill, but didn't get either of them, and Shinji, of course, saw me doing that earlier, so he got me. But we've got a decent lead. It's not a huge lead, but it's pretty good. But yeah, Escort Resign got the high gog, so he's really good at melee, but the high gog worked well for him. As far as I can tell, its big thing is that it has a kind of, it has like a rapid fire beam weapon, kind of like the uh, Galgo Jaeger machine gun. So that is its specialty, and of course it has claws. And I don't know what other, what else it can do. I haven't piloted one yet. I might try again. That's the other thing to tell you. There is they are currently doing a uh, Gundam battle operation next style sign-in bonus for this game so if you sign in for five days running you get 50 percent of the latest promotional suit which is the full armor slave wraith so that is probably worth your time and tackle time and swinging wildly time it worked a little i'm pretty sure i'm worth more and there's Zeon, yes. And so I'm pretty sure I'm worth more than the Zaku I killed, but I killed something. Very narrow lead, but it is a lead. So time to come back here and back everybody up for like the 20 seconds of operational time I will have. Which for Zagak E is not bad. Oh, with the spawn animation, it's more like 15 seconds operational time. So, moving in, going for their Zagok, redline my thrusters, knock their Zagok down, but what I did manage to do, as I sometimes do, is keep us, keep us both out of the fight and keep myself in the invulnerability long enough to keep from getting killed. Of course, with full health, they probably would have had to focus the entire team on me to get killed, and they had other problems. But yeah, we managed to get... We actually managed to get a full room of ten people uh, together last night once, which, man, that hasn't happened in forever. I can't even tell you when, so... It was a good night. We had fun. Hopefully they'll keep Situation Battle around so we can do it again. And as you can su uh, see, yeah, Escort Resign came in top, and I came in second, which is better than I expected by a mile, because... All, all those ejects, I did not think I was contributing very much, but I guess... No, no, I guess I made up for it in the Zagok, so that's something. And again, I learned a few things about what your pilot boost can and can't do, so that's, that's valuable, I guess. But yeah, that is going to do it for Gundam Battle Operation for today. We will be back soon. I've got some more stuff ready. I'm not sure what I'm going to post and when, but we will have videos going forward. So until then, until next time I post something, Everybody take care and have fun. Later.